Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice, brisk 29 degrees out this morning. <sighs> That's why we can't plant our gardens yet. We don't plant until Memorial Day weekend. We'll be getting a few more frost, I bet you, before then. But that sun, whew, that's a big old ball of fire this morning. Look at this. Ice. It's looking a lot better down here this morning. Good morning, girls. Morning, Hope. How'd you sleep? Let me get you some hay first. Where'd you go? There you are. Go ahead, get the feeder. Instead of burying your head in the feeders now, we'll put the hay out. You girls are getting more patient with each other. They're all getting along nicely. Ah, no ice on that, but we're gonna change out their water and give them some fresh water this morning. How are you doing, girl? Looking to see if I left anything behind? All the alfalfa dust. And they ate all their kelp again. Is that good? Anything good in there? I don't think I left anything behind, did I? Maybe some dust. You're starting, you're fitting in good now, Hope. Yeah. You filled out nicely, girl. You gonna be the herd boss? I bet you are. Morning, Figaro. You keeping an eye on everybody? Come on out. There you go. We've heard back on the estimates of getting gravel and some site work done for the barn. We gave them the go ahead. Now we just gotta wait for the road bands to come off. So hopefully in two to three weeks, they'll be here doing that. Look at this, guys. Look at the frost. I thought let the car warm up this morning. Then once the gravel and the site work gets done, we can pour the concrete slab for the barn to get built on. And then we can stop building, guys. Hopefully in less than a month, we'll be starting to construct the wood frame. Oh, exciting times. On it, girl. Where are you, Moose? Oh, on it, Moose. I will stand on your border and I'll search through the clouds. Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down. If you're new to the channel, this past November, we ordered a post and beam barn kit on the internet as a Black Friday deal. I'll put a link to that playlist right here. And then last week we went and we took a factory tour of where they make it and we got to see how they make it. That's gonna be our big project for this spring.
You herding them back in, Tanner? Good job. Have a good day at school. Stay warm today. Your ankles are gonna be chilly. Love you. It's not supposed to rain today, so we're gonna be doing some work outside. Before we go out, I'm gonna put a chicken in the crock pot. That way I don't forget. Now we're done working for the day. We'll have a nice chicken already cooked for us. We'll just have to make the sides to go with our dinner. I'm gonna set my crock pot on low and it's gonna cook for about eight hours. The meat birds are looking good and so are the new egg layers. They've got a couple of black copper morons and a few olive egg layers. Watch out guys, there you go. Oh, this might be a little invigorating this morning washing the chicken's water outside, but it needs to get done. Are oh, you getting wet Figaro? Anything good in the bucket? I hear you, Hope. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, what are you doing? take their water out, go clean it outside. I'm gonna leave you in here, I'll let you stay nice and warm. I'll be right back. I'm glad we got that wood stove fired up. It is chilly this morning. I see you licking your chops. They're not for you. Give us the water. We haven't had any for 10 minutes. They're eating so much right now. Today I was planning on doing some barn prep work for where the new goat barn is going to be going. But I just looked at the weather forecast. We're supposed to be getting a lot more rain this week. So I think we need to go get some more stone for the goat barn. And then maybe after that, we can start doing some barn prep work. asparagus root so I guess we'll be making another raised bed this year for asparagus <laughs>
Well, they only had 17 bags of stone. The other day when I got stone, that was a fresh pallet. So everybody else has been buying the stone too. You girls enjoying the sun? You're all sunbathing? Yeah. Does that feel good, Hope? I bet it does. If I can get Blossom and Buttercup in the barn, I know if Hope takes off, she won't go far, and Willow will probably stay eating the hay. What are you doing? You napping? You silly. Let's see if we can get him in. Go for it. There you go. Get in there. Nice. I know you won't go far. Nor will you, Willow, huh? Being pregnant. You ain't gonna take off. Oh, Miss Attitude. You got such an attitude, girl. You're tootie. What's the attitude for, huh? Quit having such a tood. You tell her, Hope. Tell her. Say, don't be tootie. Oh, are you sleeping on the milk and stand? You can come out now. Watch Tootsies. There you go. Get a little bit more graveled area. They got stone going all the way around to the other side of the feeder where they walk a lot. I put some more stone down. Doesn't look like I did too much. It's 17 bags of stone. A lot of it sunk right into the mud. It is starting to dry up though, because over here was a good sized puddle yesterday. That puddle's gone. I need to prune up some of this big giant apple tree that's behind me. I don't want to take it down if we don't have to, but a lot of these branches are coming way too far out. They're actually past where the new barn's gonna be going. And believe it or not, down here where I'm standing and we're putting the barn, is already a gravel bank. We're gonna put, bring more gravel in here, but. It off with some bar oil. Nice and sticky. Yum. I haven't run this. I haven't run this chainsaw all winter.
these apple trees are old heirloom apple trees and they have not been taken care of for years. So right now, trying to figure out how to prune this up, it's a difficult decision to make. Let me show you. So this whole branch is just up, down. We can't mow under it. We need to be able to get over here when the barn's built. That branch is coming down. We can't reach it from the ground. I feel like we just gotta cut it. It's two trunks down here. This trunk goes up and twist over that tree. And then it all comes down and it's low. So all this low lying stuff is from this big trunk. If we take that trunk down, it'll actually let this other big leader grow a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do. definitely a weird angle to have to cut, but we got her down. all we got time for today I gotta get Olivia off the bus any minute now but I am happy with how that came out I gotta chop that big piece up into firewood but can you see all the brown area that's how far out the tree perimeter used to be we couldn't even get under there and mow so the old lane used to come down and look I believe there was always an opening here that's our property line that big rock and that cornerstone now that I got that tree down I've been walking back and forth here I want to say this is where the old barn used to be. And then there was another barn. If you can see it kind of V's off down there. I think there's another barn in there, over there somewhere. So we're putting the new barn back where the old barn used to be. <laughs> ah, I find that kind of funny. But let me show you this angle of the tree being cleared out now. It just opens that up. You could never really see down in here before. So I like that. I got a few things I need to do to the drone and then we'll be getting the drone back out and using the drone. We haven't used the drone all winter. When I did, it flew off and took off two miles into the woods. So we've done a few updates to the drone and hopefully within a week or two, we'll be getting that out and we'll have a different perspective and angles. Oh, guys, I'm getting excited. Did you have a good day at school today? Yeah. Does it feel like spring today? Yes. Yes. Um, the maple tree. What's that? Especially since the buds on the maple tree. The maple tree's budding out. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah. Hope likes snapping under the hay feeder. She makes like a bed in the hay. Yeah. I knew that. What's your favorite spot today, huh, Hope? Does that sun feel good? It just makes it so hopefully your boot don't get stuck like it did. Is that some good water? Any time now, huh? Yeah, your ligaments are still solid. Can I feel your babies? I feel something. Yeah. 
How many you got in there? Three? You got that side all to yourself? Uh-oh, here comes Buttercup. Oh, your udder's getting full there too, Willow. Soon there'll be babies. Your hat don't fit good. No. Hey, this way. What do you think, Tan Man? Something. What are you doing? Hey, stay over here. Tonight we're going to roast up some potatoes and sweet potatoes to go with the chicken. This helps get your frustration out too if you're in a bad mood. Pour a little bit of cooking oil on them. I'm going to use avocado oil. I want to coat them completely in it. I'm going to put salt and pepper on all of them. And then on just the regular potatoes, I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder. Today didn't go quite as the way I planned it. I'm glad we were able to get some more rock and get some more rock down to the goat barn. I put 17 more bags in that area today and it doesn't even look like I touched it. I'm glad I was able to get that apple tree cleaned up. And it looks really nice right now, but the way that big leader was wrapped around the tree, there was no correct way or the right way to cut it safely. When that tree sprung back, I jumped back pretty quickly and I really didn't pay attention to what happened or what could have happened until I was <laughs> reviewing the video and editing. We had a close call there today. I'm glad everything worked out the way it did. I'm glad that job is done. And That's the worst part about cutting down trees that aren't textbook. I couldn't get in there the proper way to cut it because the two trunks are right next to each other. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to us in our homestead. And just remember that sometimes there is no textbook in life. We just have to go for it.